with the rising gas prices and rent prices and the cost of living, all throughout Skid Row, Venice Beach, Hollywood, and all throughout the Valley, it seems like homeless life is inevitable. All of this is about like a five minute drive away from like the Kodak Theater, the Walk of Fame, pretty much where they have all the movie premieres, all of the red carpet events, not too far. This side, not as much, still some encampments. Even across the street. Right here. And right down here, right where this beautiful house lies, you can see there's an encampment just right there. It lives right in front. And Van Nuys itself is not looking any better. I mean, storefronts, jeez, wow. Different parking lots. And I used to live in Van Nuys. And around the time I was living here, this never looked like this. So this is definitely in the past three or four years that Van Nuys has actually turned into just a homeless town. I mean, of course, it has gotten worse since the pandemic. I mean, a lot of stores have closed, so people found, I guess, shelter right in front of them. Even in front of the courthouse, people are sleeping in front of that. Driving by, looking at all of this, I cannot 100% say that this is all because of the pandemic because there is no way that people just lost their jobs in the span of a year and are now just living on the streets just like this. I mean, Van Nuys just looks the worst. Besides Skid Row, Van Nuys is probably second worst looking the homeless areas in all of Southern California. Look at this. Everywhere. I moved to California in 2005 and within the past three or four years or so, this is when I started to see most of this happening. Because as I said before, I've lived in Van Nuys, but it's never looked like this. Never. And this is like right, I don't know, I mean, three streets from the courthouse. And this is, you know, I don't, I don't want to say this is junk, but this is just a lot of stuff that's scattered all over the place. Like, what do you do with it? You know, for the most part, the city of uh, Venice did a cleanup and the beach is, you know, in somewhat decent shape. I mean, they're still, you know, homeless here and there, but it's in better shape than this area. I wonder if the city is ever going to take any, you know, uh, measures into cleaning this up and finding these people, I guess, homes. You know, I'm pretty sure half of this stuff has sentimental value to them. I mean, why would you have five or six bikes? Why would you have a bunch of chairs? Why would you have, you know, it must mean something to you. So it probably has some sentimental value to them. And even over here off of Victory and Violent, right next to the CVS pharmacy, just a bunch of encampments continue to grow. And also, if you look over here, next to the Target, right off of Violin, not too far from the location I just showed you, there are a lot of just build up of, just build up of stuff. You would think the store would do something about it, but nope, it's just here. This entire area, the whole sidewalk is filled. You see a table and chair set up. 
as if this is just a living space. And I've passed through here so many times and it's still here. It's, no one has moved it. So right now I'm here on the cross streets of Riverside and Lancashire Boulevard. And I'm passing right where the bridge is and it's just... It might be over in certain areas, but it's definitely heavy in this area. Well, across the street doesn't look that bad. Not too many stuff, but over here it's just beds and tents and and bicycle tires and baby strollers and chairs and somebody sleeping right there on the small bed. And we got more tarps and more stuff all over the ground. This is just wow, trash, garbage. But somebody's actually sleeping right there. Boy. Yeah, it's just so much stuff piled up and cluttered in this area. And right over here, it looks like the officer is giving this man a ticket. Not 100% sure, but it looks like that's what's going on. And I'm not too sure what giving him a ticket is going to do because, I mean, I don't mean the judge, but how is he going to pay for it? And what is the ticket for exactly? Hmm. And again, this is right over here in North Hollywood underneath the 101 freeway on Lancashire. Just so much stuff. So much stuff. Sorry, Densmore Ave in Victory, right near the 405, right where the orange line meets. That's where the orange line goes across right here. Uh, some encampments just right off the side of the road. It really doesn't seem like anyone's there right now. A lot of these look uh, pretty empty, but I'm pretty sure people that are staying there will, will eventually come back, especially when nighttime hits and you're looking for a place to sleep. You got your own little setup. This right here looks like an actual, and I don't mean to make it sound, you know, weird or anything, but it looks like a, like a lounge area. Basically there's couches, there's like a table, uh, food area set up there's a bed right there i'm not sure if they just sleep right there at night because it looks like there's a tent on the side over here we got shopping carts. we got i don't know like many things that are just dragged and bought to this area just to kind of make it like a house well there's even like a gate fence looking thing so you know a lot of it is like secluded behind you know trees and stuff but for the most part Everybody kind of just has their own little area. Yeah, it's just, it's just right across the street from, you know, residential housing apartments. As I continue to travel deeper into the valley, please stay locked into the channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.